force that can't always be controlled. An example of humankind's attempt to harness a potentially destructive force can be found in... We have ignition! The rocket. In terms of harnessing energy, I know of nothing more powerful than the rockets that we have today. Since the 1960s, hundreds of rockets have been successfully launched into outer space. Our success record is well above 90%, usually in the 95 to 98% category. But when massive supplies of highly combustible rocket fuel is housed inside tons of steel and composite metals, Catastrophes are always a possibility. Rockets are a risky business, and a lot of time and energy is put into trying to be sure that we don't have a bad day and, and ending up in a failure. On January 17, 1997, one of the worst rocket disasters in history occurs at Cape Canaveral, Florida. On launch pad 17A, the Delta II rocket carrying an $81 million satellite. soars through the sky with 200,000 pounds worth of thrust. Suddenly... It was between 1 and 2,000 feet in the air when the strap-on solid motor uh, started to fail. 250 tons of flaming debris and rocket fuel shower down on Cape Canaveral. We need to secure the area. A fortified building close to the launch pad is pummeled by the firestorm, threatening the safety of workers inside. And we did have a major problem. The explosion also creates a toxic cloud containing hydrochloric acid. Experts know that the cloud will be blown over the Atlantic Ocean. A strict safety zone also ensures that no lives are lost, and that the only damage suffered is to a number of vehicles and small structures. You launch within range limits. You launch in such a way that there's no human life at risk, no toxics or plumes that can come back over human beings, no environmental concerns. Again, in 1998, a new rocket, the Delta III, prepares for its very first launch. Three, two, one. We have main engine ignited and During its initial stages, the $225 million mission appears to be going without a hitch. Then, 75 seconds into the launch. We have all three airless solids ignited. The destruction occurs when the Delta III begins veering dangerously off course. Safety officers quickly send a destruct signal to destroy the rocket before it crashes back to Earth. When a rocket such as Delta III explodes, you see the pieces of the burning propellant streaming down and actually called firebrands. In the case of Delta III, they fell into the ocean and uh, they were not a harm to anyone. The most expensive failure in rocket history is the $1.3 billion Titan IV, carrying a top-secret military spy satellite. Nine hundred tons of flaming rocket fuel and debris fall into the Atlantic. The shockwave is so intense, car alarms are set off more than 20 miles away. <laughs> 